We already built one report when we created our customer contact list. We organized it by the first letter of the last name. Now it's pretty cool, but let's create a more traditional report with totals by category. And what we're going to do is a sales report. So we're going to total all of the product sales. So let's go into layout mode. We'll create a new layout. And we're going to call it lines underscore report. Now we're using lines here because that's where the records are. Remember back to the previous video when we talked about the marbles. FileMaker and any database is good at organizing records, whether it's a find or a sort. So we want to go to where we have one record representing each sale of a product. The products table only has one record per product. Lines has a record every time we sell the product. So that allows us to organize it and manipulate it in the way we want. We might want to organize it by our product itself. But we may want to organize it by when it was sold or any other characteristic that's attached to that record. So let's go ahead and create this. Now we're going to choose list view here because it's ultimately going to be a list view because we're going to look at it in browse mode and preview mode. We could do it in form, but then we'd have to change the, the layout type. And it's just easier to start off correctly here. And I'm not going to use report because it's a long assistant that asks you a whole bunch of questions and, and really distances you from the, the whole process of creating a report. I want you to understand the nuts and bolts and how to create your own report. If you just use the assistant, you're only going to be able to make the simple report. You want to make more sophisticated reports on down the line. OK, let's get rid of the inspector. We'll change to minimalist. Click OK here. Double click on our body part and change it to a sub summary when sorted by KF products ID. Now I could choose the product name from products lines because it is related. But I usually choose a field from the current table because it reacts faster. It doesn't have to go through a relationship and pull the data over. It's not going to really make a difference one time, but if you do it a whole bunch of times on a layout, it might get slower. It's possible. It all depends on what else you're doing. But I try to be as efficient as possible always. So sub summary when sorted by the product ID. Print above, referring to the body. There's no body, so don't worry about it. Click our merge field in here, although you could use a regular field. No difference, really. We'll choose here, in this case, to show the name of the product. Because the product IDs may be organized by that, but it's really not helpful information to look at. Make that a little bit bigger. Tighten it up a little bit. Move that up one pixel. That looks pretty good. We'll option or control drag this. And what I want here is a column for count and a column for total sales. So we don't yet have the count. We do have, if you've looked in here, remember back, we do have the total, so we don't have to create that again. But let's make a count. We'll create it. And you'd think we go to count and count KP lines ID or something like that. But actually what we want to do is total up the quantity. Remember we can sell more than one product or a, more than one of the product per line. There we go. Click OK. Insert our merge field. Go to the correct table. Count. Make it a little bit smaller. And then we'll option drag it to make it bigger or to make another copy. This time I'll just type it in because I know the name. As long as I type it correctly, it'll be fine. And then we'll format these. So I'm going to go into the data viewer and format the total as currency, two decimals, and a thousand separator if we sell a lot. On count, we're going to do a decimal. I don't want the symbol, but I do want the thousand separator. Let's see how we did. Let's go into browse mode. And you notice we don't see anything. Again, that's because we haven't sorted yet. So we'll move over from lines, our KF product ID. In fact, we can even sort by product name, too, if we want it to be alphabetical. So we come over here, find the name, and actually put it first. But the key sort here is this one. That's what does our organization. You'll see now we have it organized super widget, then widget, 13 and 7. $26 and $7. So that works out pretty good. It's a nice little report here. We might want to put in some stuff in here like product report. 
make that a little bit bigger maybe 18 points one of my favorite sizes there we go and let's insert another part we'll put in a trailing grand summary and what we're going to do is duplicate these two fields and put them right inside that part I haven't made another field in managed database I haven't done anything like that I've just simply duplicated those fields and they are context sensitive so you'll see what happens so we'll go into browse mode and you'll see now we get a grand total very important to understand that now let's also understand that it really looks the same in preview mode except that it looks more like a printed page so you actually can get pretty good reporting inside of browse mode sometimes I do that because I might want to edit some fields in here you know take and adjust them and not in this report but maybe in other ones and let's add one more thing in here let's insert a part a body part so we can see the detail tighten that up a little bit and what we'll put in here instead of count and total is going to be quantity so we'll insert a merge field here go find our quantity and then over here we'll insert our price extended. So now what we're going to get is see the detail here and just to make it so it's clear I'm going to put some colors on these parts. I'll make this a nice light blue, make this a nice light red, and we'll make this one let's say green. This will help you understand where the parts are. Let's go into browse mode and you'll see that here are the sub summaries in green that's just a highlight color from what records are on because you're in browse mode so don't think about that one then there's the body parts you can see that this is made up of three records and this is made up of three records you can see each one of these items that makes up the total above and each one makes it and then the grand total and it looks a little bit different in preview mode you'll see that we have our super widget you have your grand total right here it's almost the same but you have those those you know the, it, the page shows where the breaks are and everything like that sometimes it's easier to look in browse mode because you can scroll up and down if you have a long report rather than having to page through the the records or the pages in preview mode so let's take a few things off we really don't want these colors in fact if we're gonna do something we're gonna do something nice like this we might put this in a nice gray like that but I think this should be no color maybe white background in this one we might put and offset a little bit by making it let's say black and doing something fancy by making the text white let's see how that looks so it depends on whether you like that or not you know it's it's an option for you to see how things look and if you print out or go to preview mode you'll see what it looks like as well so you can play around with it and get it just right but I think that having you know a little bit of, of differentiation in the color saying so, you know it's black and white printer probably grays and whites and blacks can really help your eye identify where everything is